What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, February 15th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a three game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. So I like Mike Conley from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the six worst defense overall, give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Mike Conley averaging 27.2 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He's projected at 26.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 5,200 DraftKings salary, 800 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 214.5 points scored in this game. And Mike Conley, has scored 31, 25, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 24, and 30 minutes. And Mike Conley has scored 31, 31, 26, and 33 fantasy points in his last four games here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So here is a value play or a sleeper pick. I like Nikhil Alexander Walker from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the six worst defense overall, middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. Nikhil Alexander Walker only averaging 16.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 14% usage rate. But I just wanted to throw him out there as a sleeper pick because he scored 28, 30, and 19 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 25, 23, and 25 minutes. So on a small slate, could be hard to find this value. So I'm just gonna throw him out there as a, a high risk, high reward play here. So I like Nikhil Alexander Walker here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you wanna enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So I like Clay Thompson from the Golden State Warriors playing the Utah Jazz, who have the second worst defense overall, give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Clay Thompson averaging 27.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He's projected at 28.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. 5,500 DraftKings salary, same price on FanDuel. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 237.5 points scored in this game. Clay Thompson has scored 19, 38, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 29, and 24 minutes. So I like that his salary has come down here. I think he makes a pretty good FanDuel play. So I like Clay Thompson here versus the Utah Jazz. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. 
So I like Andrew Wiggins as well from the Golden State Warriors playing the Utah Jazz, who have the second worst defense overall, give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Andrew Wiggins averaging 22.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 26.6 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.2 times value. He's 5,100 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. Andrew Wiggins has scored 31, 23, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 28, and 28 minutes. So I like Andrew Wiggins here versus the Utah Jazz. Now, if you're looking to save some salary here at the power forward position, I also like Nas Reed at 4,600. And I also like Kyle Anderson at 3,500. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Rudy Gobert from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the six worst defense overall, give up the second most fantasy points to opposing centers. Now, Rudy Gobert averaging 36.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He's projected at 36.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's only 4.8 times value. He's 7,500 DraftKings salary, 500 more on FanDuel. But I like this pick because Rudy Gobert has scored 39, 38, and 39 fantasy points over the last three games, playing 37, 33, and 35 minutes. So I like the consistency here going into a good matchup where you compare a guy like Carl Anthony Towns, who is also a good play here. Carl Anthony Towns, if he gets the minutes, he's got that monster upside. Now, Carl Anthony Towns scored 22, 36, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games playing 19, 27, and 29 minutes. Uh, now, you can make a case here that coming off of a game where he only played 19 minutes, Carl Anthony Towns would be the play. Either way, guys, I like both of them. I wouldn't play them both at the same time, but if you want to fade Towns, I think Rudy Gobert is in a good spot, especially in cash games. Maybe play Carl Anthony Towns in a tournament play. But either way, guys, I like Rudy Gobert here versus the Portland Trailblazers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.